Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical uh, semicircles fully inscribed uh, in a blue rectangle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, O and uh, P are uh, their centers and uh, M and N are their points of tangency with the blue rectangle and moreover uh, at this point uh, they are tangent to each other and furthermore, uh, this uh, AB is the diagonal uh, of this uh, blue rectangle. And uh, the side length uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, AD is uh, 2 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the length uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. We know that uh, this side length uh, of this uh, blue rectangle uh, is uh, 2 units. Then this side length BC is going to be 2 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, MO is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. And this uh, MO length is same as this uh, AD length which is uh, 2. So therefore uh, the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle is going to be 2 units. So therefore we know that this AO is the radius and this uh, OE is the radius uh, as well. So this is going to be 2 and this is going to be 2 units uh, as well. And moreover this uh, PB is the radius uh, as well. So this is going to be 2 units. So therefore this uh, NC length is going to be 2 units uh, as well. And now let me label uh, this uh, segment uh, EN as a lowercase uh, a. And this uh, diagonal uh, AB as a lowercase uh, b. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, lowercase uh, b. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, AC length uh, is going to be 2 plus 2 plus lowercase a plus uh, 2. If we add them that is going to give us uh, a plus 6. And furthermore since we are dealing with this uh, blue rectangle. So therefore this angle uh, ACB is going to be 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACB. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case uh, lowercase b is our hypotenuse. Our two other legs are uh, 2 and uh, a plus 6. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, Pythagorean formula. We got uh, a plus uh, 6 uh, whole uh, square plus uh, 2 square equal to b square. And if we simplify a little bit, so that is going to give us a plus uh, 6 uh, whole square plus 2 square same as 4 equal to b square. Let me label this one as our equation number 1. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this uh, point uh, P and this uh, point uh, N. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center P with this uh, point N. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle uh, A and P is going to be 90 degree angle. Since uh, this uh, PN is our radius and this is our tangent line. And now we are going to connect uh, these uh, two centers O and P. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. The centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear. So therefore uh, this center O, this center P and this uh, point of contact uh, they lie on the very same line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. So there, this is going to be 2. And likewise uh, this is uh, radius uh, of this uh, identical semicircle as well. So this is going to be 2 units uh, as well. So therefore uh, this whole uh, OP length uh, is going to be 
2 plus 2 is going to make uh, 4 and furthermore uh, this uh, p n is the radius so this is going to be 2 units as well and likewise uh, this uh, segment uh, o n is going to be 2 plus a so this could be written as a plus uh, 2 and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle o n p and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 4 and our two other legs are uh, 2 and uh, a plus 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, a plus uh, 2 whole uh, square plus uh, 2 square equal to 4 square so in this next step we can write uh, a plus 2 whole uh, square plus 2 square is 4 equals to 4 square is uh, 16 and now we are going to subtract uh, 4 from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore uh, a plus uh, 2 whole uh, square turns out to be equal to 12 and now I am going to take the square root on both sides to undo this uh, square so therefore uh, we can see this square and square root is gone so therefore a plus uh, 2 turns out to be equal to and now let's focus on this uh, square root of 12 I have copied it down over here and if we simplify that turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 so therefore uh, this square root of 12 could be written as positive or negative 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and now I am going to subtract 2 from both sides to isolate uh, a this is gone so therefore a value turns out to be positive or negative 2 times square root of uh, 3 minus uh, 2 and now we can see we got these two positive and negative values and I am going to split both of them as you can see in this uh, next step I have split both of them one with the positive sign and one with the negative sign and now we can see this uh, length uh, a represents a negative value so therefore uh, this value of a is not feasible so therefore we are going to reject this negative value of a and we are going to keep uh, this positive value of a so thus our a value turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 minus 2 and now we are going to substitute this uh, a value in this uh, equation 1 wherever we see a I'm going to replace uh, this value and here's our equation 1 so I'm going to replace this a by this uh, value as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this a by its value over here and now let's combine these uh, like terms negative 2 plus 6 is going to give us uh, positive 4 so therefore uh, this is going to become 2 times square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 4 whole uh, square plus 4 equal to b square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so therefore this is going to give us uh, 12 plus uh, 16 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 16 and then I'm going to put, put down plus uh, 4 equal to b square and now if we combine these uh, like terms that is going to give us uh, 32 so therefore we are ended up with uh, b square equal to 32 plus uh, 16 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 and now we can see that we have a uh, 16 is in common so therefore I can write uh, b square equal to we can factor out uh, 16 outside so that is going to give us 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now I am going to undo the square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides uh, of this equation and here we can see this uh, square and square root is uh, gone so therefore our b value is going to be equal to square root of 16 is uh, 4 
outside and in this uh, radical we got 2 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now we can see that this lowercase b represents this uh, diagonal ab length so therefore our ab length turns out to be 4 times square root of uh, 2 plus square root of 3 so thus our ab length turns out to be 4 times the square root of 2 plus square root of 3 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 7.73 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye